Hello, this is Andrew Inns from redsky.uk.net. You may remember a few months ago, amidst all that furore about Mike Huckabee and the creation debate, that I put out a video on YouTube stating that we would absolutely, categorically, beyond any shadow of a doubt, scientifically prove that evolution over millions of years never happened. And what we did is we employed the services of a creationist, also from the UK, a chap called Malcolm Bowden, who put out a number of videos on YouTube um, showing that really life more than 10,000 years ago on this planet would have been quite impossible. For example, he talks about uh, the decrease in the solar diameter. He talks about the decrease in the speed of light. Uh, he talks about the decrease in the Earth's magnetic field. All good reasons why life couldn't possibly have existed more than a few thousand years ago. But I did say that we would absolutely prove, beyond any shadow of a doubt, that evolution never happened. And that's what we're going to do right now. Because there's something that we've been holding back. We've been holding back right for this very moment. And to help me explain it, I'm going to use my globe bar over here. Okay, so this is my globe bar, and as you can see, it opens up. Well, of course, our planet doesn't really do that. It doesn't open up, and you can't put things inside it. But there's a couple of other things that this globe bar does that our planet also doesn't do. For example, it rotates. And our planet Earth does not rotate. It is not turning around once every 24 hours. Now, this globe bar is also on wheels so it can move about. But our planet Earth is fixed. It does not rotate. It is not moving at all. OK. So what we're going to do next is we're going to release three videos. Now, the original video was actually 23 minutes long, but I've only got a, a 10 minute uh, YouTube account. So what we've had to do is we've had to cut it into three sections. And in that, we reveal four scientific experiments. Now, one of them is well known about, but the other three have been kept hidden from you for 130 years. And today, we're going to reveal what they are. And they prove conclusively that the Earth is not rotating, the Earth is not moving through space, it is fixed, the Sun, the Moon, the planets, the stars, the whole lot orbits us once per day. Yes, we live in a geocentric universe. And the church uh, accepted a geocentric universe for many years, until about 500 years ago, when a, a Polish astronomer, Copernicus, suddenly had the idea that perhaps the sun wasn't orbiting us, and that maybe we were orbiting it. Um, but he didn't have any technology. In fact, there was no gas in those days, no electricity, no computers, obviously. Um, the only thing that he would have had, perhaps, is a leather-bound telescope that you would see in the antique store today, and, of course, an idea. Well, eventually his theory was accepted, and uh, I must say the Catholic Church opposed it for a long time, but eventually they caved in uh, and it became accepted. And then, of course, mainstream scientists debunked that idea and said, no, the sun isn't the centre of the universe, Copernicus got it wrong. In fact, it's an insignificant speck. And we have been conditioned to believe this theory all of our lives. But that is just what it is. It's a theory. So today, we're going to prove that the Earth is the centre of the universe, that it's not moving. And we've done that in three videos. The first one is called uh, The Evolution Delusion. Geocentricity Part 1. The second one is called Evolution Delusion Geocentricity Part 2. And the final one is called Evolution Delusion Geocentricity Part 3, the final chapter. So, where does this leave evolution? Well, it proves that the universe was planned. Thank you.